So now we're going to do the same thing. What we're going to do is utilize two blocks. And these two blocks are going to be about the width of your chest. So you may have to find, you know, what works for you. You could do three blocks together. You may only need one block. Around two blocks here is good for me. I do struggle to hold them a little bit. Um, so I could probably go a little bit narrower, but I found that it works. So from here, sorry, you're going to place the band on your wrist again. We're going to do very similar exercises to before. Okay, so you're going to try as best you can to grab the two blocks here in between your elbows without them falling. I like to grab them this way because I struggle to um, hold them. And from here, you're going to sit down, probably best to be cross-legged, and you're going to start the movement of pulling out and in your wrist, feeling your chest open, your shoulders down your back, feeling your muscles work as you do this. You're going to do the same 20 movements of these pulses. Once you've done these 20 movements, we then move into the, as you can see, <laughs> into the movement of the rotation of the trunk with pulling apart slightly the wrists, okay? So you really activate in. So you're here at the height of your shoulders, pulling your wrists apart, and you're rotating your trunk, just your trunk, in and out, in and out. You're doing five also one way and then five the other. Make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades as you squeeze your wrists apart to really work into the trunk muscularity. So you're doing 20 reps of the pulses out and six or so rotations each way with the blocks.